close your eyes, keep your mind with the breath. All the way in, all the way out. If it thinks about something else, just drop the thought and stay with the breath. You've got to show it that you mean business. You're here to train the mind. Because the mind, if it's not trained, just goes running all over the place, like an animal that hasn't trained, been trained, or a child that hasn't been trained. It creates a lot of trouble for the owner of the animal, a lot of trouble for the parents of the child. Unless you train it to be an adult, to act like something, or like an animal that can live with human beings, a child learns to be an adult. Because it's in the training that the, the child learns how not to cause suffering for itself or for other people. It begins to realize that its actions have consequences, and you've got to be careful about those consequences. It's the same with the mind. All too often we go running for happiness. And then we go running into the, the facts of the world. This body that we have that was born a while back now, now is beginning to show signs of aging. It's going to get ill. Eventually it's going to die. We see this happening all around us. This is the body that we've got. We make use of the body, but this, these are the conditions under which we get to use it. So you want to make sure, though, that whatever suffering comes from the aging, illness, and death of the body doesn't have to have, have inroads on the mind. Even if you haven't gotten old yet, seeing it happen around you. You see other people getting old, you hear pe about people getting sick, you hear about people dying. You've got to remember, this can happen to you, too. And so can you to make sure that you don't add unnecessary suffering on top of the suffering that's already there. Because it turns out the mind can shoot itself. As the Buddha said, when there's physical pain, it's like being shot with one arrow. But when you start getting upset about it, it's like shooting yourself with even more arrows. And it's those other arrows that you shoot yourself with. Those are the ones that really hurt. The pain of the body, if you're not latched onto it, if you're not clinging to it, doesn't have to have inroads on the mind at all. But it's all the things that the mind says to itself about the pain, getting upset. How much longer is the pain going to last? How much am I going to have to suffer? Is this ever going to end? just keeps piling on. It keeps it shouldn't be this way. Why is this happening to me? All these things just keep piling on more and more suffering. But that's the nature of a mind that hasn't been trained. You see this when you go into the house about people who haven't trained their minds. Their minds are all over the place, suffering from even the slightest things. So you want to make sure that you don't put yourself in that position. This is called being heedful. The Buddha says it's like being a wise, a wise horse. All the owner has to do is say the word whip, and the horse obeys. It's the foolish horse that has to wait until the whip actually gets into its flesh and into its bone before it, before it obeys. So in this case, what you're obeying, you're obeying the recommendations the Buddha gave for how to find true happiness. Those are the kinds of things that are worth obeying. Not just because he has power over you, but because he has genuine goodwill for your well-being. He said, if you want to find true happiness, you want to protect the mind from suffering, this is what you've got to do. So we train the mind to stay in one place because that's what helps us fend off the habits of the mind that want to go thinking about thoughts that are going to cause more and more suffering. You see your mind going in that direction, you can say, nope, I'm going to go back to where it's safe. The breath is a safe place to be. You can make it a comfortable place, you can make it a soothing place to be. Here in the present moment, as for your thoughts about the past and future, you can let them go. And even your thoughts about the present moment that are going to cause you to suffer, you can let those go as well. Learn how to maintain the state of your mind, even as the body has to go through its process of aging, getting ill, and dying. The mind doesn't have to age. The mind doesn't have to get ill. The mind doesn't die. Always keep that in, in mind. And this way you save yourself from a lot of suffering. And you make it easier on the people who are looking after you, too. So this is something that's good all around, this training of the mind. So the mind gets to be an adult. It looks for happiness in a way that's responsible. It looks for happiness in a way that's not going to cause any harm. That way you can live with your mind, not be arguing all the time and not being in conflict all the time. You and your mind can get along in peace. It means you're at peace with the rest of the world as well.